What is up, Trouble Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Guys, our, our first story here is incredibly just fucked up, sad, it's scary. We have told you numerous times, do not go to YouTubers' houses, and this is why. Our story today is coming from a giant YouTuber known as Gavin Free. He is the channel owner of The Slow Mo Guys, a channel with over 10 million subscribers. Now, he is currently dating a, another YouTuber. Her name, Megan Turney, a channel with over 300,000 subscribers. And the two of them have been dating for quite some time, and they live together in well, some psycho went and broke in to their house. Report coming from the Albuquerque Journal, an Albuquerque man targeted YouTube celebrities. Now, before I made this video, I reached out to a couple other YouTubers that I know have had a problem with people just showing up to their house. I talked to Net Nobody, I talked to Banks about this, and overall, I came to the conclusion through talking to them that I'm not going to name the person that did this at all. I'm not gonna show you his picture. I'm not gonna give this guy any attention but this is what this psycho did in fact i'm just going to refer to him as psycho psycho who police describe as single lonely and disturbed had made an 11 hour drive from albuquerque according to the documents filed in the second judicial district court and his phone was full of notes suggesting he had developed a fondness for the woman megan turney and disliked her boyfriend Gavin Free. Basically, what Mr. Psycho did is he drove to their house, broke in through a window, both Gavin Free and Megan Turney, afraid for their life, hid in a closet, and called police Why this psycho searched their house for them. According to this report, he had a handgun with him, and he fired one round in the house while he was looking for them. Thank God they were able to get in contact with police because after Psycho couldn't find them, he was trying to leave, backing up his car in the driveway when police stopped him from leaving. Then Mr. Psycho shot and killed himself. Wow, just, just wow. Megan, Gavin, I'm so sorry that this happened to you. I hope the fans of these YouTubers understand why we don't want you coming to our house because of shit like this. If Psycho would have found Gavin or Megan, Either one of them could have been killed or both in this incident. Just a few days ago, Logan Paul uploaded a video titled, I arrested the guy who broke into my house. Now, when I first saw this, I didn't know if this was real or fake, but it turns out this is real. TMZ is reporting that the guy that broke into Logan's house is facing 30 days in jail and two years of probation. Don't go to YouTubers houses. We don't know if you're a fan or if you're a psycho. Shit is just so fucked up. I, again, I'm, I'm just so grateful that nothing happened to Gavin or Megan. Also in the news, USA Today is trying to get Logan removed off of YouTube altogether. They came out with a report today titled, What Will It Take for YouTube to Kick Off Logan Paul? Quite frankly, uh, I don't want Logan Paul kicked off of YouTube, and I don't think Logan Paul should have his ads removed. I think... This is like censorship. If he breaks the rules, he should be punished on that individual video, that content. He shouldn't have some crazy extreme punishment. I think people might be taking this a little too far now. Also in the news, the boxing match between KSI and potentially Jake Paul or KSI and Logan Paul. Well, there's an update to that. Jake Paul uploaded a video titled KSI Called Me. However, it wasn't KSI. It was actually KSI's brother, Deji. And Deji uploaded his own video titled Calling Logan Paul. Which again, he didn't call Logan Paul. He called Jake Paul. Now, when Deji and Jake called each other, literally nothing happened. The both of them argued whether or not they should do boxing or MMA. And literally nothing happened. Deji's video got two and a half million views with, you know pretty decent likes compared to dislikes, but Jake Paul got hammered. Jake Paul's video got 4.3 million views, but over 171,000 dislikes. And speaking about boxing, a bunch of other YouTubers are now calling out KSI. Again, Mr. Irrelevant, according to Jake Paul. Nobody seems to be calling Jake Paul out for a fight, but everybody wants a piece of Mr. Relevant 
KSI. Just Dustin, a YouTuber with 1.8 million subscribers, uploaded a video titled, I Want to Fight KSI and Logan Paul. Furious Pete, a YouTuber with 4.5 million subscribers, uploaded a video calling out KSI to a boxing fight. And today, Vitaly uploaded a video challenging KSI to a boxing fight. Looks like we'll have to wait to see if KSI responds to either of them. And now for our final story. Uh, I just thought this was funny. YouTuber Shay Mitchell hit 3 million subscribers, so she ran naked through the streets of LA. Congratulations to her. Guys, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with all the news going on here on YouTube. You want to be in the loop, not on the outside. And if you enjoyed this video, please take the time and slap a like on it. Drum Alert Nation, now over 3,400,000 subscribers.